This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. The process was embarrassing, it was unexpected, it was explosive, it was inappropriate. He's talking about the state Democratic convention here in Nevada and it is still making national headlines tonight. Campaign 2016 tops Channel 2 News at 5 o'clock. The Democratic debacle in Las Vegas this past weekend continues to haunt Bernie Sanders' campaign today. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Kristen Remington. And I'm Landon Miller. Could the chaos that came from the convention be a sign of what's to come for the Democrats? A lot of people are thinking it. Aaron Breen has been looking into that today and joins us now from the newsroom with more. So Aaron, who could all this impact the most? Landed a lot of people from the candidates who will win or lose their races to the parties as we know them today to the balance of power here at home. No means no. No means no. This is not what anyone expected for the state Democratic convention in Las Vegas. The disruption from Sanders delegates and the inability of the state party to control the crowd led to closing the convention down. Some say this has been brewing. But it was intended to be destructive and disruptive. Uh, it is hooliganism at its worst. And still today, some are calling for Sanders to show accountability. I think he should apologize apologize publicly for um, what happened in Nevada. I'm not suggesting that Bernie Sanders encourage this kind of behavior, but it is the issue that the buck stops with the top of the ticket. As of tonight, nothing close to an apology has been made, but we're looking beyond fault to the actual impacts a split in the party could have. Clinton could gain supporters if voters drift from both Sanders and from Donald Trump, or if Clinton gets the nomination, Sanders supporters could just drop out of the process altogether. If Democrats do that and it allows Trump to win, is that the agenda they want in the White House? Is that the America they want? Nationally, the Democrats are working to unite the membership. Do everything we can to make sure Donald Trump never becomes president of the United States. That's what I'm singularly focused on. Because if you look at the big picture, there is a lot more riding on this election than just who winds up in the White House. You have the U.S. Supreme Court. You have the control of the United States Senate. You have the battle for governorships and uh, majorities in state assemblies and state senates across America. A lot is at stake in this election. And if voters on either side sit on their hands, we could not only see the lowest voter turnout in a presidential election in decades, but the trickle-down effect could impact decisions made by lawmakers here at the state level as well. Which brings us to the possibility of whether or not Sanders would actually run as a third-party candidate. And that's what a lot of the pundits have been talking about today. But there hasn't been any kind of acknowledgement of that from the Sanders campaign, at least not yet. Covering campaign 2016, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News.